Hey guys, thank you for joining us again. We have another great video for you today. We have an update of the three snakes that we got that came out of the egg and uh, you know they shed. So we're gonna give you a little update on what they are and what they look like. You guys can comment and tell us what you think the genes are in there. We also have a bunch of females that are getting ready to lay. So we're gonna go through those and show you the, what you know we got going on. And you guys can let us know what you think the babies are gonna look like. So stay tuned. So here's an update on that clutch we showed you last week. Um, every one of them shed and are looking nice and healthy. So uh, cutting the eggs didn't hurt them. Just saying. I don't want to be like cut all the time club, but. <laughs> so here we have, obviously it's a GHI, I believe it's fire. Um, I don't know. It may be just a GHI fire. It looks really nice. Super granity on the sides. It's like a lots of noise in here. Cool little head stamp. It's a male. And uh, this one's easier. This is an Arroyo. Look at that cool little putting green. So as, when I saw these in the egg, obviously they color up. So this was a lot lighter and I thought it was fire, but definitely it's just an Arroyo. And then this beauty, it's also a male by the way. This beauty is a GHI Mojave. I think fire because it's lighter than I would expect. I don't believe it's Enchi. Could be a Royal. I have no idea. Never seen one. Don't even know if any, any has been made. These alien heads are were really well defined from what I'm expecting. Um, almost like little snowflake kind of things. And it's cool. It goes all the way down to the very tip of the tail. Can I hold that still? Like it just keeps going. So it's pretty neat. Nice clear belly. So, yep, this is also a male. And uh, very beautiful. It's like the eye bands are really defined and then they're completely smudged out after the eye. It's so weird. Some good light. Make sure it's in good light. Yeah, it almost like fades away in the nose. That's the thing that's like really screwing me up because I would expect it to be as defined as the rest of the striping. Mm. So we got these all set up in their separate bins. Uh, we have some babies, baby rats that we got for them. This is when we'd start after the first shed. I would throw a little little mouse pup in there. Rat pup. Rat pup, sorry. Do that again. I'll throw a little like 35, 30 gram rat pup in there and I'll leave it in overnight and nine times out of 10, they'll take it. If not, I pull it out the next day. These things can't hurt them. So if you leave them overnight, there's nothing that's going to happen to the snake. And uh, then I'll try again next week and more than likely it'll eat. So there's your update. Just cutting in here guys, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and for liking this video. We really appreciate you guys doing that. It helps us to know that you guys are enjoying our content and if we should keep up with this this kind or something else. If you think that we should film something else, comment that in below. But also thank you to our Patreon and our Give Me A Coffee uh, subscribers. We really appreciate that. Thanks. So we want to show you guys a couple of the breedings that we've done and uh, we'll show you the females so you guys can see where we're at. Um, these are the ones that are ovulated or look like they're about to ovulate so uh, we can kind of keep track of how many are actually going to be producing 
and uh, get us prepared to make sure our incubator has enough stuff in it and all that. Also, these bins, we spot clean them regularly, and uh, but we try not to mess with the females if they op have ovulated too much, so there might be a little bit of stuff in there. Uh, please don't roast us too bad. All right, here we go. So the first snake I wanna show off is a spider orange dream. So, she bred to our snake that we picked up from Miguel at, over at AEP. And he is, so we call him Miguel's snake because it has a lot in it, but. So he is a NG pastel orange dream yellow belly leopard genex het pied. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so he has a lot in them and thank you again Miguel for you know allowing us to get that one from you and so we're gonna be making some super orange dream version of that plus possibly spider in there uh, should be good um, and all of them would be 50% het pied now the next snake that we have that's ready to go here is our super lori female she's definitely very thick here and again I'm not gonna mess with her too much but uh, we're really excited about this. And this went to our pastel hidden gene woma lorry. So we're hoping to get some pastel hidden gene woma super lorries out of this. Um, that'd be really exciting for us. I don't know that anybody's ever made those. And uh, we're excited to see what hidden gene woma. I'd be fairly and, confident to say it's a world's first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're excited to see what a super lorry hidden gene woma is. Because the, the hidden gene woma lorry looks really grayed out like a super lorry does so we're really excited to see where that project goes uh, the next snake that we have that's coming up is our firefly orange dream and this bin is a little bit dirty but not too bad she's uh super super bright and starting to thicken up in the belly here um i don't want to mess with her too much but she hasn't ovulated yet, but I expect in the next couple of weeks we'll start to see some more swelling. Yeah, she's uh she's right there. She has like 25, 30, maybe between 25 and 30 millimeter follicles I can palpate. So all right. And she was bred to I don't know, I have to look. And we bred her to the GHI pewter. So that's a black pastel pastel GHI. So uh Really excited about that. Some super pastel, black pastel, orange dream, GHI stuff that can come out of that. And who knows what that's gonna look like. Um, I don't know, uh, I haven't really seen any myself, but who am I? So that's three in that stack. Who are you? <laughs> so in this stack we have five here, one, two, three, four, five. We denote it by uh, putting these little guys here in the middle, instead of hanging them on the side. So this is a fire, and our big fire female, she's, uh, hasn't ovulated just yet but very very thick here and we love her she's super super pretty um, she comes from a line of the fires that has this cleanup gene in it that we don't know but she was bred to our Inchi Inferno so the fire infernos look really really cool so we produced a few fire infernos and fire Inchi Infernos last year and uh, it's very very pretty to see the fire infernos and we think that it kind of creates this flaming down below um, that's really cool. But you add the engine in there and it really gives it an orangish red sign. And uh, it just looks really nice. So Enchi Inferno is obviously Enchi, Yellow Belly, Hidden Gene Woma, Pastel. So that would be uh, what could possibly come from this fire, adding a fire to it. And that cleanup gene that's in with her, which we haven't really isolated, but just looks really good. Maybe it's just a really nice line and a fire. So we're really excited about that pairing. And moving on down, we have our GHI female, who's really, really pretty as a GHI. She's usually really feisty, so I'm not gonna mess with her. Of course, it's also feeding day, so <laughs> we're not uh, getting too crazy, but she paired to a GHI Arroyo Fire. So Super GHI Arroyo Fires would be awesome looking. Uh, we just really want to get the Super GHI Arroyos in there and see what that does. She's also possible Arroyo. She, they're actually siblings. Oh yeah, 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 it's true. So she is a possible Arroyo, but uh, it's hard to tell. 
So it's possible we'll get Super GHI Rios out of this. We'll see. Hopefully, that'll we'll, be cool. Hopefully, we'll get some questions answered this pairing. Yeah, because we get more and more questions every pairing. <laughs> so <laughs> that's fun. And this one is a pastel Lori. So our pastel Lori, look how beautiful this girl is. She just mind blowing, mind blowing. And this one we put to a Enchi Banana Lori. Um, really, really excited about this pairing. I'm a really big banana fan, and Ryan lets me breed a couple of the animals that I like to put together. Um, just kidding, we kind of go back and forth on, on all the pairings that we do. But uh, just some banana super lorry uh, stuff would be awesome to see. But also, you know, you get the Enchi in there and you get the pastel, you see how beautiful she looks. That pastel makes it so bright with the lorry. Um, I'm just really excited about that pairing. It's one of my favorite for the season, for sure. And first shot at Super Lorries this year. First shot at Super Lorries, that's right. Well, this other girl, the Super Lorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, these two. Oh. This is our first season that we're able to produce Super Lorries. <laughs> this is our first season, that we're, that's true. First season we're able to produce Super Lorries, so excited about that. Uh, moving on down the line, we have a Het Lavender female. So she's a normal hat. She and ovulated already. She ovulated already, I just was informed. And uh, just kidding, I already knew that, but Ryan made sure that I said it because she is ready to go. And we paired her with a Pied Possible Het Lavender. So we're really hoping to prove him out. And it was his first year. I'm really excited about that one because he was uh, not small, but he was much smaller than her. And uh, so we put him in there just to see if, you know, what would happen, see if he's getting gone. He was producing sperm and uh, he locked up. And we're like, yeah, it's awesome. We're like, yeah, screaming. So. Uh, it's always exciting, even if it's just your first snake that you have pairing or um, a snake that you've done a, a million times, we always get excited to see things breeding and having fun uh, producing some really cool animals. So hopefully we'll be getting some Lavender's uh, Het Pied. So Lavender 100% Het Pieds as well as we'll have 66% Het Lavender's and 100% Het Pieds. Right? Mm -hmm. Ryan is shaking his head, yeah. Okay. And down below we have the last one, a lavender female here. And she's just gorgeous. Look at her. She's a big girl. She's produced for us before. And uh, we're excited to be pairing her again. And she paired to Miguel Snake. And she paired to Miguel Snake. So that is a lot of genes in there that I can repeat, or you can just like re rewind so back to the beginning. But it's the. If you're I'm, wondering why we would put a pot, like a het to that, yeah. The real goal is to make the Starburst combos that are het lavender. Yes, very true. Um, so this is a, just a visual lavender. There's nothing else in there that we know of, and uh, so to be able to produce some ng leopard lavender stuff would be exciting because that's the Starburst, and then. We wanted to add like all those other genes, you know, you got pastel and orange dream and yellow belly. Yellow belly. Yeah. Gene X. Gene X, which is tied to the pied. So it's exciting to see what that would happen, but also all of them would be 50% uh, head pied and 100% starsicle. 50% head starsicle. <laughs> 50 head starsicle. That's coining it. That's it. <laughs> this is the one. Justin, hands off. We're, I'm texting you right now. Star sickle. Um, all right. <laughs> so we'll show you a couple others now. And the last snake that we are pretty sure is going to ovulate uh, any day now is this GHI fire that we produced. And she's all the way in the back of the bin. She's gorgeous as well. Um, just this fire stuff that we got going on in this collection is just smoking hot. We're really 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 pleased with the way that uh they turned out and again that's something that you have to make sure you remember about when you're picking up high quality stuff you're going to produce high quality stuff so just keeping that in the line and uh you know not keeping the things that aren't super crazy high quality but really just focusing there so this is a ghi fire and we paired her to a killer leopard clown so that means a super pastel leopard visual clown and we're excited because we really want to try to get some GHI leopard stuff that is also uh, het for clown. Um, the pastel is cool and uh, 
I, I think it's fun to have in there. But GHI, Firefly, Leopard, Head Clowns is not... I wouldn't kick those out of bed. <laughs> so the GHI, Firefly, Leopard, Head Clowns would be cool too. I agree, but I know that the reason, sometimes the reason that you're really shooting for some pairings is just a few of the genes that work and then the rest are like gravy on top. You know, you gotta pour that gravy on. So that's it for what's ready just now, but also we have some really exciting pairings that we wanna update you on and let's get into them right now. So <laughs> Ryan's gonna have to help me through this one probably a little bit, but uh, one of the exciting projects that we got going on here is this female right here. So this is a vanilla orange dream leopard 50% het clown that we picked up from RL Exotics. I'm really pleased with her and she's doing really well and we are pairing her to a fire spot nose 100% clown and lavender and 50% het pied. So what does that mean? If the clown works out here if there, you know, if she's clown, so if that proves out, that'd be really cool to have the clowns out there. But so the possibility on this one is an orange dream vanilla cream Batman mm -hmm. that is 100% het grail mm -hmm. and possible het holy grail. Yes. <laughs> Did you feel there's it? A, there's a lot going Did you on. Feel there. it? I felt there's it. There's a lot going on. There. <laughs> so that's a that's a lot going on in that pairing. That'd be one of those uh, high end snakes that you're like, wow, I can't believe that just happened. Um, hopefully we can idea. Long uh, odds. Long odds long for odds. sure. But, but uh, there's a whole bunch of mix in there too. Um, all right, and then another snake that we have that we're excited about is this gravel female, and she is getting big. But um, picked up from Walmart. Picked up from Walmart. Brent Thomas. Brent Thomas. I just keep on repeating whatever Ryan says. Um, so that's a gravel female. We paired her to Miguel's snake as well. And the possibility for highway stuff coming out with all the other stuff, you know, cause it's a, I'll try it again. Pastel Enchi, Orange Dream, Yellow Belly, Leopard, Gene X, Het Pied. Boom. So and all that in a highway combo. All that in a highway combo with the gravel. So that's exciting. And then an easier combo that Ryan makes fun of me, but I like showing off. It's is, gonna um, be pretty. It's gonna be pretty, but this is an Enchi Banana Het Clown female. So our Enchi Banana Het Clown, she's beautiful. And um, that Het Clown really cleans things up, I think. So it's an Enchi Banana Het Clown female. And we're breeding her to the Killer Leopard Clown which is the pastel, pastel, leopard, clown. So that's super pastel, leopard, and visual clown. So we're hoping to get some visual clowns out of this pairing, and that would be, you know, banana, which was fun, and also Enchi and pastel, all of them will be pastel, and, and hopefully leopard. So the leopard bananas are awesome. Um, and it's a female banana. And it's a female what banana. What does that mean? So it's a female maker, so it should be really cool. Well, it's um, gonna be it'll throw equal amounts of males and females right <laughs> I, that would be actually the best part <laughs> but so we've but never, we've never been, been able to hit a female right so now yeah. we're gonna hit a female banana hopefully this year we're hoping to hit a female banana holy crap we've how long have we been doing this <laughs> we've been doing it way too long um we produced in one one year we produced like 20 some maybe 30 bananas and all of them were males and it was like and some of our friends are knocking them out of the park first pairing and they're like, yeah, I got a female. <laughs> some, some people that we sold <laughs> banana males to, their first year they produced females and we're like, darn, thanks, but it happens, that's how it goes. So those are some of the exciting stuff we got going on here, so make sure you guys stay tuned and uh, keep up with what we got going on so you can, uh, you know, see if you need something from us. That's all I'm saying. Thanks again so much, guys, for tuning in. We appreciate you subscribing and liking our videos. Um, I hope you thought what we got going on here is cool. We think it's cool. Uh, drop a comment down below. I feel like Ben said that a bunch already. Never mind. All the comments are welcome. Just whatever. Let's talk. Me and you. Just like we just connect. We'll just connect. It's fine. Thanks again for Patreon people. You guys are awesome. Thank you for everybody for buying us a coffee. Bye. climbed underneath the table. <laughs> the dog's super cute. I know, but we didn't see it on camera and it climbed yeah, under the table. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> so it was like that. Okay. So we call him Miguel Snake because it has a lot in it, but it's a pastel enchi, yellow belly, leopard, 
GeneX. No, sorry. All right, let me start that again. He is a pastel orange dream Enchi leopard GeneX. I'm the yellow belly. I said yellow belly. The first time you did, the second time oh. you didn't. All right, I'll say it one more time. <clears throat> okay. The six genes plus the head pilot. Got it. Okay. Pastel Enchi Lori? Nope. Yeah, we don't have a pastel Enchi Lori. Mm -hmm. It's the pastel Enchi Wama Lori. Oh, yeah, yeah. Enchi Wama. <clears throat> and she went to, um, she was bred to our. Um, Enchi Inferno? Enchi. <laughs> this would mean that she would be a Batman with a. Uh, 100% Odie Vanilla Cream Piccadilly. So, okay. So it's a Odie Vanilla Cream Batman. OD Vanilla Cream Batman. Okay, let me start that again. So this could be an OD Vanilla Cream Batman that is 100% a het for Grail and also het for Holy Grail and then possible het for no, possible head for Holy Grail. Wait. One more time. <laughs> Darn it. Do I need to jump in on this one? <laughs> Got it. It's got a it, tough it. combo. There's a lot, There's a lot going on. Okay. So. Uh, it was like, it looked like the middle finger when you you just like, <laughs> all the people in Europe are like, you jerk. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> one of these ways is the middle finger in Europe. I know, that's what I'm saying, it's that way. I feel like it's this way. It's that way. I didn't, I didn't mean it. <laughs> Peace.